Joining us to kick off National Heart Health Month is Dr. William Cooper, also known as Coop the Heart Doctor. How are you today, Dr. Cooper? Fantastic. Thank you for having me, Kayla. Well, your clinical research has been published in more than 100 journals. What are some of the misconceptions about heart health, would you say? Yeah, great question. So so misconception number one is that this is a disease of the old, overweight, obese male, perhaps diabetic, smokes and drinks too much. Uh, and that is true. But the fact of the matter is, and the point is, is that heart disease can affect anyone, quite frankly, at any age. And so it's very important for us to think about it in those terms. I've operated on literally thousands of people in my career as young as age 27 with bypass, believe it or not. And so that's why we're here today to educate people about those facts. That's awesome. Well, where do we start to help build better heart health? Yeah, healthy lifestyles lead to healthy hearts. And diet is the number one factor to build that better heart health. Uh, but diet and nutrition can oftentimes be foreboding. People think it's difficult. Let me give an example. I love peanuts, for example. Peanuts and peanut butter can help lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes, believe it or not. Southern Peanut Growers knows this, uh, and they know that you can incorporate peanuts into a heart-healthy diet. Peanuts are mostly unsaturated fats, which are the better fats, okay? Uh, they have heart-healthy nutrients like fiber, magnesium, and vitamin E, and peanuts have the most protein of any nut. So try a twist on the PB&J and replace the jelly with some fresh fruit on some whole grain bun. Uh, add some peanuts to your kale salad, add it to your stir fry. So you feel good about something that you love and it's going to improve and help you consume that along with a heart healthy diet. So the point here is that think about this thing very practically because the things you love sometimes can also be incorporated into a very good diet plan. Mm, as easy as peanuts, who knew? What are some other solutions to improve heart health? Yeah, yeah, regular exercise and movement is critically important. That's why it's never too late to kickstart your fitness journey and get moving. And no better time to do that than now. February is Heart Health Month, as we know. Planet Fitness, great place to start. The judgment-free zone. They help people to achieve their fitness goals, boost their overall energy, promote physical and mental well-being, and better your health and lifestyle. So throughout the month of February, and in honor of Heart Health Month, Planet Fitness is offering a free heart healthy workout collection on their PF app. Those workouts include cardio, yoga, toning and stretching and all of those things are designed to help benefit your heart health, boost your mood and also increase your energy. And what are the important warning signs of heart disease? Yeah, shortness of breath, chest pain that doesn't feel quite right, uh, no longer able to exercise. That's why the exercise is so important. Go to the gym. If you can't do that treadmill for 30 minutes anymore, could be pointing to your heart. Women, be very, very careful because the signs of heart disease in women, particularly heart attacks, are much different. And so be in tune to your body. Reflux, the old GERD that we hear about so much, heartburn. Well, it could actually be your heart burning. So these are things you need to report to your physician. And real quick before we wrap it, where can we go for more information? Tipsontv.com, great place to start. We've got all this information there. And here's the most important thing, Kayla, act on it. Do something about it. Don't just go and look and query. Actually start incorporate some, incorporating some of this great advice.